Tangier, Morocco. Tangier, au Maroc, si vous êtes français. I'm gonna tell you guys about Jake's 2018 failcation through the lens, through the feet of a, of a run. That way. Was a parking lot. Was. So it all started a few weeks ago, like uh, two months ago. Uh, I was in Paris, this beautiful this city that I love, my home. And I was like, hey guys, I'm thinking about going south to Morocco. I'm gonna catch some rays, I'm gonna study my French. And everyone was like, that's a great idea, Jake. The running part. As a runner, ah, oh, there's the road. Oh, we don't like that, but here, Ooh, it's promising. Look, see, if you're not a runner, you're like, Jake, what the hell, it's a bunch of dirt. If you are a runner, you're like, ooh, I wanna get me in on that, get my feet all over that softness. So, I started my journey. And you know, on the journey, you just came across a little, a little that. And you're like, oh man, well, I really wanna go, so there's nothing better that I just have to Oh man, that's so annoying. Okay. Really fantastically enjoyable. Just getting into it. Oh, I found some dirt. Yeah, the journey started a little rough. So the weather wasn't quite as good as I expected. Maybe I couldn't quite go tanning on the beach. There was the, I was, I was gonna do pull-ups there. I don't know the last time your gym's ever been literally rained out before, but uh, the next time, you know, you're procrastinating because there's splashes outside. Think about splashes inside. Ah, it's okay. I found, you know, I found a way around. Maybe if I go running at night, it'll be less windy, you know. You know, there's, where there's a will, there's a way, relatively positive, all that. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. You know, so I landed, I was like, oh man, it's not like this bright, beautiful, sunny paradise. At the moment, I think I'm in the wrong season. Totally my fault, I was really stupid. I didn't check the weather, I assumed, right? My mistake. So, a few days go by, get into my schedule, buy groceries, get my runs in, a little cold, care, so easy running, right? Easy service. Then, then one day, I got hypothermia. What's hypothermia? Well, it just looks like a little this, like when you're running. More or less like a little bloop. Basically, it's when your body temperature drops so low that you start to lose mental clarity and mental focus. You start to make irrational choices. And if it's really bad and lasts long enough, you could die. Some say that in extreme circumstances, like you're in the Arctic, people get really hypothermic. They act so irrationally. They'll actually take their clothes off to try and like get cooler. Yeah, anyway, so. Oh, oh, okay, all right, so here we are. You know, a little hypothermia, it's okay. Never killed anybody, easily. So that night, I try to get warm. Can't get warm. Wonder why. The night I get hypothermia, I know what it is because I've had experience with it in the military before. So I knew that the, the, what I had to do was move more. I get back from the run, my, my core temperature plummets because it was windy and it was rainy and the combination, like, but by windy I mean like 40 miles an hour, 25 kilometers an hour or something, constantly. My core temperature plummets, I have to get warm. I need to keep moving like running or squatting or something to, to, to keep my body temperature up. I have a hat on, I have a jacket, I'm next to a heater, I take a hot shower. Doesn't work. I make 
myself some dinner, fall asleep. Didn't actually know if, I really hoped I would. I didn't know if I was going to wake up. I did. Dinner was nice, I made some steak. Feeling good. Next day, feel a little weird. Don't know why. I have a headache, why do I have a headache? Hmm. I don't know, Jake, why do you have a headache? But it's okay. Feeling a little better, right? Managed to run a little better, sort of. Oh, look, it looks clear up there. It'll be good, you guys, I'll be fine. Everything's gonna work out! Everything's gonna be fine, you guys. It's gonna be okay. Splash! Speaking of splash, I started having explosive diarrhea. Mmm! Little painful, little weird. Just traveler stuff though, right? I'll be fine! I'll be fine! I'm just gonna keep running. You know, running with explosive diarrhea is kind of like running on this. You know, not enjoyable at all. A little dangerous. You don't know when you're gonna slip and fall and poop your pants. But, uh, you know, sometimes it has to be done, right? Like, sometimes there just isn't a better place to run. Sometimes you're sick and you just gotta work through it. I mean, I didn't do anything dangerous. I wasn't injuring myself by running. Wasn't running hard. So I kept going. Then. So. Then, then this. And you might be thinking, Jake, what could, what could a bunch of rock on your, on your running route possibly symbolize, you know, on this little, this narrative you're telling us? I'll tell you. This, this beautiful, you know, and stings, creatures, inside! Parasites, that's what it represents. It represents intestinal parasites. Okay, so, we have obstacles. Let's have a walk and talk as we overcome them and as I describe how I overcame this specific obstacle to you. Fellow travelers, fellow runners. So you know, it started as basically a few days where I felt absolutely miserable. Really crazy temperatures, uh, general malaise, fatigue. Uh, no, I did not run. Oh, I missed like three days of running back to back. Oh, so upsetting. I'll never get those days back. You know, I kind of kept on. I thought it was food poisoning. I really thought it was food poisoning. It turns out that the, the that, that beautiful steak dinner I had, that the cow that I ate, that the cow had the stock, had the parasite. So when I ate it, they go into now they uh, Felt terrible for three days. Then I felt better. Still had explosive diarrhea. But then I could run again. Like I felt comfortable and healthy enough to run. It wasn't anything crazy. Just, you know, just general. Maneuvering through obstacles, being careful, not going too fast, paying attention, thinking ahead. And um, after about a week, I was like, you know, I mean, uh, I don't know if it's normal to just poop like this, like poop liquid for like a week. So I went to the doctor, amazing doctor, amazingly kind doctor. And he was like, oh bro, you got stuff. It's like, what kind of stuff? Midnight freaking emergency medical clinic here in Tangier. They checked me out. He was like poking my organs. He was like, oh, you feel that? He's like, does this, does that hurt? Does that hurt? He's like, check, he's checking like vital organs because if they're inflamed, guess what that means the parasites went to. Anyways, there wasn't any pain in my little tummy. He gave me antibiotics, anti-parasite meds. And I was on that for like five days. And after a few more rocky days, it got better. And yeah, you know, it totally sucked. Crazy that out of my three years of living out of the States, traveling, I think I lived in about six countries over the last three years. And let me tell you, probably half of my diet has come from street food. Thailand, Western China, Eastern China, uh, parts of Taiwan, every part of Taiwan, north part of Thailand, south part of Thailand. I love street food, man. And if you're going to a country, like most countries outside the States, 
outside of Western culture, a lot of their food and culture is done publicly on like some kind of street thing because it's like a social. So, what's our moral of the story, Jake? What do we got? You know, I I came here. I thought it'd be a beautiful vacation paradise. Sometimes travels don't go your way. Sometimes they go really bad and you get like violently sick. And if I would have ignored that for any longer, I probably could have been really bad to be totally honest. Thankfully, the people in Morocco are, ex are exceedingly kind. That doctor, the one that helped me at midnight, he actually, I was like leaving and he was like leaving and he's like, hey, how are you getting home? And I'm like, I'll just take a taxi. And he's like, no way, bro. I'll take you to the pharmacy. I'm like, what? Hop in his car, he takes me to the pharmacy. Then he tried to take, he's like, he's like, come on, I'll just drive you back because I didn't have a car, I didn't have any transport. And I was like, oh my god, you're so kind. I don't know how close you've ever been to your doctor in a public life, public space, but that was amazing. Also, emergency medical costs, last minute medication, and a taxi ride totaled to about 26 US dollars. So, all right, so moral of the story. When you're traveling, it's not always gonna go to plan. There might have been things that could have done to be more precautionary in my adventures here. I never got vaccinations before I went to China. I never got vaccinations before coming to Africa. You know, but if you let fear guide your decision making, I don't wanna eat this unique Moroccan street food because it could possibly have something that could, like that's a terrible way to go through things. You're never really gonna experience another place if you're there and you're living there like by, by like hiding in a hotel room and eating hotel room food or whatever it might be to be frank i actually the food that i bought was at a grocery store and i cooked it myself I don't want to do. you know you can take all the precautions in the world but just sometimes these things happen and recognize when you have a problem go to the doctor immediately and uh you know just kind of just kind of roll with it and see what happens try and uh enjoy the journey along the way. Now I have a fun story to share with you guys. I'm not discouraging anybody from coming to Morocco. Like I said, the people have been amazing, extremely kind. The food's fantastic. Uh, the steak I had that gave me parasites was delicious. <laughs> but yeah, so I I will be here for, for three more days and then I'm going to another place. It won't be sunny, but it'll be, it'll be different. Just, you know, just kids playground and just precautionary barbed wire. Yeah, just to keep all the bad guys out, as you do. And I think I'll have more people to run with because I need to have a group of people until I return to my beautiful favorite city. Me, me, me. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys on the uh, on the next one. Hopefully, hopefully without stomach critters, intestinal pals. Um, bacterial bargainers.